YouTube, welcome to the shop. It's Thomas here. Um, I've got another review for you. I'm gonna review these vessel screwdrivers. If you happen to watch my video on the Posi Drive, Jis, and Phillips, uh, you would have noticed these screwdrivers, or at least a couple of them in there, uh, anyways, in that video. Um, I've had these things for a while now. I bought these things probably, well, Actually, I, I got two of them in February, and then I've got, uh, I think, the other uh, three in April. Or maybe uh, maybe I got one in May. I don't know. Uh, I actually had to make two orders because the first order got lost. Or the first couple of orders, I actually lost two screwdrivers. Um, and with that said, uh, I'd, you know, while I'm thinking about it, I'd highly recommend if you're going to buy any of these, buy them through uh, Prime. Um, uh, and reason being, if you if you just go with the regular postage, uh, on average these things are taking two months or more. It took one uh, took uh, one of these screwdrivers took three months to get to me, which I don't I don't really understand why. Because like if I get an e packet from China, it takes two weeks. Uh, I get a, a standard mail from Japan, it it averages two months. I don't know what's going on there. Um, yeah, so uh, the reason why I've taken so long is because of the fact that they are screwdrivers. I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, they're such a simple tool that, uh, you know, I, it's like with a lot of things, man. You can uh, pick up something at first and uh, like it or maybe even dislike it. But after you use it for a while, you may dislike it or like it. Um, and also, you can't really with screwdrivers... Unless they just fail instantly, it's really kind of hard, you know, to, to, to tell if 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 the uh, you know if the tips are gonna last, uh, or if you have the flat tips. You know, a lot of times the corners will roll over, um, and, and you don't, you won't notice that until you put some some extreme torque on them. Um, you know, when I. Uh, started messing around with some electronics and stuff I noticed you know as I've said in the uh, Phillips gist and um, positive drive I mean you, you will notice that the Phillips won't seat and a lot of electronics uh, Phillips looking screws that's because they're not Phillips they're just Japanese industrial standard so yeah that's why I decided to go ahead and try these uh, and they definitely are decent I really like them in fact uh, these have actually, at least these two, or these three right here, have become my go-to. Um, I used to be strictly Wea, uh, but now I've kind of gravitated to, to these. I, I kind of like these a little better uh, in, the, in the sense of the ergonomics. And plus, the good, one good thing about the GIS is they will work in Phillips, where a Phillips will not work in a GIS screw. So that's that's pretty nice. I like that. So they've they've got a wide assortment uh, of screwdrivers. I mean, extremely wide assortment. One of the, one of the things I like most is this. Uh, uh, I call it an exchange blade, and you know it has this little pouch, and it comes with three uh, uh, blades. Two. Uh, well, one of the blade. It'll actually have PZ two and PZ three. That's Posi Drive. Uh, you you don't see a whole lot of that in America anymore but uh, you get a one uh, two and a three uh, gis and a, a six millimeter straight um, and I like them a lot I didn't think when I first bought this I was gonna like this ball type handle but I actually like it a lot you can really torque down on it you can get a really good grip I will say this: the this exchange blade ball handle is just slightly smaller than the um, the uh, fixed bladed one. Uh, and one of the other things I don't like about this, I mean, I like it a lot, but the thing that I I wish they would th this is all the blades you got. They don't have any more. That's what I don't like about it. Um, but for what you get, is is that's really nice. It's made in J uh, Japan. Uh, it's very high quality. It's I guess this is rubber or elastomer. I don't know with some kind of plastic. It's it feels really 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 good. I really like it. In fact, I like this one so much. I bought one for the shop and one for the house. That's how much I like that one. That's that's an awesome 
awesome uh, screwdriver. In fact, this one has pretty much supplanted my Wea exchanger blade. Uh, I, I I really like this one a lot too. Um, but I don't know. I just I just started using this one more. So I don't know. Uh, uh, the rubber on the Wea's is not unlike the rubber on the vessel. I mean, it, these two kind of feel like the plastic. The plastic feel very similar. Very high quality. Um, I, w I would like to say one thing though. Uh, this flat tip one. This is the only one here that's not made in Japan. Um, I'm not as sure why. But this one's made in Thailand. Um, fit and finish is a little bit less good. Meaning uh, if... I don't know if this will show up or not, but uh, you can kind of, well, it might show up, but there's a flashing mark right there, and right there's the flashing where the mold is. Um, they did a little bit better job on the Japanese one to smooth that down than they did on the Thai one. You can you can feel a lot, and you can see it quite a bit, but you can you can. You don't feel it quite as bit on the uh, the uh, on the Japanese version. Um, the only other thing I noticed that is a little bit different, and I don't know if it's gonna, I doubt it'll show up right there. Is the chrome is a little less nice on the Thai one. It's just not as smooth looking. The stop point isn't square. And it's really pronounced I don't know if you can hear that or not but but it's uh yeah so yeah it is a little less quality I, I'm not sure what's going on there I mean it's not so much less that I wouldn't buy another one I'm just you know just stating it but uh yeah so you might uh, I don't, that may be a concern to you or not uh I you know I haven't had any problems with it but you know, I don't use a lot of I don't use flat tip a whole lot anymore. I don't think anyone does really. But uh, yeah, it's 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 still decent. I'm not having a pro like I said, no problems with it or anything. I like it. Uh, they seem to be locked in the blades. I mean, one of the things I uh, about I like this knurling right here, so you can you can kind of like get your fingers on it, and it's actually pretty sharp knurling, so you you really can torque down on it. Uh, the ergonomics. As I said, it's a wee bit different than the Wea. This is a little bit more bulbous, and you'd think that maybe I'd like this one better since I like that one, but uh, I kind of like the the vessel. The black is a either an elastomer or a rubber, whereas the bluish green, turquoise, whatever that color is, is plastic. No problems. Uh, last thing I'd like to show you is some uh, precision screwdrivers. Actually, I haven't opened those ones up yet. Uh, and they actually have two kits. Uh, one kit has two gis, and the other kit only has one. I uh, just want to give you a kind of an idea. These are the Wea. These are my, the, my standard go-to Weas. So they are a little bit longer. The uh, the handle is a little bit thinner. Uh, it, it spins pretty well. I like it. Um, I still prefer the handles on the Wea better. They're just, I, I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because it is a little bit thicker. I have small hands. You can kind of see just, I mean, that's really thin. It does have a nice long blade though. Um, but eh, that's the only thing I'm not digging and I don't, I don't really think that's a problem. Um, they seem to be holding up pretty nice. Um, they're a little, this one's a wee bit on the long side. One thing I do like about them, uh, this is all recycled plastic and it's really nice plastic. It doesn't look like it's crap plastic or anything. Uh, it, it, you know, yeah, it's, it's decent. Um, they haven't, you know, supplanted my Wii is, um, but they are nice to have because like I said, I mean, that's an, these are pretty long blades versus what the Wii is. Uh, typically you know are so that's nice to have that's one reason why I got them actually uh, and the fact that they're just uh, as far as I know Wea doesn't make any Japanese industrial standard 
and it comes in this little uh this little uh plastic case yeah i mean i don't keep it in a plastic case i keep it in my little lazy susan but yeah so um yeah if uh I highly recommend getting a set of gist no matter what because I mean you're gonna especially if you're working on electronics or anything like that you're gonna come across uh, uh, you're gonna come across those screws I mean there's no no ifs ands or buts um, also if you work uh, or have a, a, a Japanese uh, motorcycle you're gonna be those are gonna have uh, Japanese industrial standards so there again I highly recommend them if you if you're just starting out with your tool collection I'd recommend just getting these, you know, instead of getting, you know, an American Phillips. Like I said, these will work in the Phillips, so you're getting the best of both worlds. And they're extremely reasonably priced for the quality. I mean, you know, less than $10 each. Some of these are, you know, like, I mean, like the, the three precision screwdrivers. If I remember right, this kit, this kit is less than 15 bucks. It's awesome. Same thing with this exchanger blade. It's, it, if I remember right, it's less than 15 bucks. I'll put some links uh, in the description below, but um, yeah, uh, I highly recommend these things. These things are really, really well made. Um, and another cool thing, I don't have it, have any of them, but um, they actually have several different kinds. And they have one that has instead of this blue and black, it's I think it's gray or silver and black, and it has a steel cap on it. Which which the cool thing about it is is like you can use it to break a rusted uh, uh, screw loose uh, because it's it's an impact driver and, you know you can literally hit it with your hammer and it will rotate uh, the blade like an impact driver you know typical what you, you you would find here in America but they're like just big pieces of metal <laughs> so it, it's really weird how it's, and it looks like a regular screwdriver and you can use it as a regular screwdriver also it's a little bit more expensive obviously but uh, another thing I, 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 I'm kind of dis disappointed about them is, or, or at least what I could find on Amazon anyway, is uh, they don't have any, like, um, kits. You know, you pretty much have to buy one screwdriver at a time. They don't have a, you know, a, a, a kit of, say, P1, 2, and 3, or, you know, 1 and 2 in a, in a, in a flat tip or whatnot. So, yeah. Mm, nah, that's a little disappointing because you normally get a little bit of a price break but at the same time you almost always get screwdrivers you don't want or need so i don't know there's there's benefits and negatives to that too but um yeah oh and one more thing uh when i'm thinking about it um the exchange of blade uh do not get that if you're going to be using it on electronics and the reason why i say that is because it's not a cylindrical shaft and so, you know, if you're familiar with working on electronics, most of the screws are recessed in a hole. Uh, this, this, uh, what is that? Octagonal. That's it, with the um, with the the little edges being on there. It won't go into those those holes. So you you know you, you you're going to need one of these uh, or several of these. Uh, <laughs> I got stuff sliding around here. You're going to need, uh, need round shafted ones. There's one more uh, Japanese industrial standard screwdriver being marketed on Amazon. And I want to say it's Horizon or something like that. I can't remember now. Um, I almost went with those. but and, those, and the reason why I almost went with those is because they actually have a kit. In other words, I think they have like five or six or seven screwdrivers in the kit. And it's very inexpensive. But when I started looking at the reviews on Amazon and some of the uh, motorcycle forums and stuff like that, they all kind of said that it was fairly negative throughout. So that's the reason why I went with Vessel. Um, Vessel seems to be higher quality. That being said, um, I am thinking maybe possibly in the future grabbing a set of those and comparing them with these. All right, guys and gals, let me know what you think. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say something. Um, this this uh, set of uh, precision screwdrivers right here, I think will be going to my 100th subscriber. So whenever that happens, hopefully this year, it'll happen. <laughs> so yeah, that's what that pack's for.